Hey Scorpios, welcome to your weekly love reading for February 25th to March 3rd for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Before I get into the reading and the intro, I gotta address the pre-shuffle because things are already escaping me. I actually didn't even get to do the pre-shuffle that long because they kept giving me so many visuals. Scorps, you're in very heavy dark side <laughs> of the Scorpionic energy right now, okay? Um, you're really not liking it. It's not a fun place to be, even for you, Scorps, which is kind of interesting because Scorpios are are pretty much okay going into the underworld and dealing with their own issues and in their dark space, but the, you're not liking this. You're really not liking this. So I was getting a couple things. You guys feel at a loss about something. <clears throat> you feel at a loss about something, whether you actually lost someone or something, or you feel like you're about to lose someone or something. You're just feeling at a loss. You're feeling like you're missing information. And I almost feel like... There's something you know that's coming to light or something you want to know about, but there's something that you're not seeing about it and it's making you crazy because Scorpios are very intuitive. And because you're so intuitive, you're like, why am I not seeing this? I know that there's something up with this or person or situation, something. And when a Scorpio can't see, <laughs> don't be around that Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that's what I'm definitely sensing for you guys. And then, oh my god, this was really interesting, guys. So you guys already know they show me a lot of cards, like, as messages, right? Um, this is the first time I've ever seen a card get animated, which I thought was really interesting. It was the King of Swords turning into the Knight of Swords. It was the coolest thing, to be honest. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat chakra is still recovering from that session I had, but it, I'm, I'm pretty good, guys. I'm pretty good. It's like, you know, King of Swords is a very stoic kind of stance, right? Like sitting on their throne, I got my sword, and the sword's usually down with the King of Swords. I saw the king stand up, take the sword out, and like lift it up, and then become like forward movement into action with it, with the sword up. So Scorpio, someone is challenging you, or they're about to challenge you. And I feel like it's more about coming in to talk to you and give you communication, give you some truth and clarity. But there's a lot of aggression behind it in a very like sharp, kind of rough, tactless kind of energy. And it's a challenge. And you're already in a stance where you're like something's not sitting right with you. And you're kind of in a sad energy about it because you feel like at a loss about something. You Scorpios, you can sense you're about to lose something. And I'm really sorry for whoever resonates with this. You can sense you're about to lose something. And then you have this challenging person energy come at you, very, very air sign heavy. They don't have to be an air sign, but if they are, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Or have that in their chart somewhere. They could have um, an air Mars. I don't know I'm getting that. They could have an air Mars. But anyway, coming in to challenge you. And you're already kind of ready for the fight. It does, oh my God, it's actually making me queasy. It's not sitting right with me at all. But that was a very intense visual they gave me and I was just trying to like reimagine it right there. Um, so Scorpios, you're ready. You're just, you're, you're kind of in a sad place about it. So that's why it's like, you're sad and you're irritated and frustrated. Someone comes in and challenges you and I feel like it's someone that you care about and that's just gonna really turn things into an ugly situation. But it's about some truth and clarity that you want answers from. In the pre-shuffle, I saw the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this person might have done you wrong in the past, and maybe you can sense that, and maybe you just don't know the whole truth about it. So maybe you're about to get the whole truth about it. Um, but anyway, I know, it's already really heavy, <laughs> right? Um, but let's get into this, okay? Um, for those who don't want to hear the intro, go ahead and just fast forward. I get new people all the time. I can't get rid of my intro. I get a lot of people who are new to Tarot, so I got to keep it all. All right, guys, uh, it goes without saying that this is a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, so sometimes that's you and sometimes it's not, and that's okay. If you don't like my energy, there are a lot of readers on YouTube that are fabulous. Go ahead and check them out. Um, please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Please don't try to make it fit, and not all details will resonate with everybody. I get different messages for different groups of people all the time, especially now. <clears throat> and moving forward, that's only going to be more... Um, more prevalent okay so take the details that call to you because it's going to help you somewhere down the line okay um also no we, this is energy so messages can be vice versa they pertain to you your partner someone in your immediate environment or someone that you interact with regularly or think about regularly or vice versa right um don't get hung up on the gender of the cards guys nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy all right scorpios i'm a little nervous <laughs> I'm a little nervous for you guys. I've got butterflies in my stomach, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> 
maybe this person gives you butterflies or maybe this this whatever this coming your way is going to give you a massive adrenaline rush because it does it's it's not usually how my scorps feel you guys don't usually get caught off guard or get into that like get to the point where your nervous system's jolted enough to have a fight or flight response but that's how it's feeling okay i don't i'm not saying anyone's gonna get attacked <laughs> or anything like that i just mean like this challenging energy or person, I feel like it's a person, coming your way, um, they're going to get your blood pumping in, in uh, you know, maybe a not so pleasant way. Okay, so let's just, or a pleasant way, because I said I felt butterflies, so. <sighs> Shit, I, I got, it's like, it's climbing, but I don't know if you guys can feel it, that energy is like climbing within me. Um, yeah, this person gets your blood pumping, I think maybe in a good way, but also in a really awful way. So maybe you guys are just very passionate with each other. Um, any messages for Scorpios regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. My guys just said there's love. There's love. Okay. Okay. So it's combative, but there's love there between the two of you. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. Or whoever it is you're connecting with. Okay. Doesn't have to be a lover. It could always be a family member, too. Hopefully they don't get your blood pumping in that way if they're a family member. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. Ooh. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. I keep seeing the Knight of Swords. I keep seeing the Knight of Swords. Any messages for Gem? Gem? Hi, Scorpio. <laughs> Could be known the Gemini. Could be known the Gemini. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. Oh, that's weird. I'm hearing like little bits of dialogue. Why not? Why not? Why not? Very, a lot of anger behind that. Why not, by the way? I feel like it's coming from you, Scorpio. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. Scorpios don't usually let people shake them, but this person might rattle you a little bit. Or the, si the situation, the situation might rattle you a little bit. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? February 25th to March 3rd. Wow, a one card reading. Taurus had a one card read, right? Yeah, Taurus, your your seventh house, house of partnership. Your one seven had a one card reading as well. Overall energy, full in reverse. Aries energy, impulse. Ooh, yeah. Whatever this is, Scorpio, it's being triggered by someone who's not thinking straight. And by not thinking straight, I don't mean like you know they're they're totally crazy. I. I just mean they're not thinking about their actions. But underneath, we have justice. So whatever this impulse is, it's it's supposed to happen, and it's going to bounce out the scales. You could be a Libra Scorp Cusper, okay? But the only card here on the board, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Could also be Virgo Taurus, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Wow. Where's Capricorn right now? Hold on, let me think about that. Where's Capricorn right now? So if you're Scorpio, it'd be two down. So your third house... <clears throat> excuse me you're oh <laughs> oh gee isn't that funny which is the house of gemini <laughs> just saying um oh yeah so you could be doing the capricorn or you could have capricorn in your chart but scorps this is definitely your energy you're trying to be grounded you're trying to see you're very intuitive right now but it's almost like whatever this thing is that you're not seeing it's almost like you're not supposed to see it okay and it's irritating the fuck out of you i'm just saying i'm just saying but you are in this energy that you are very attractive you're drawing a lot of attention you're drawing a lot of people's eye you might even be getting hit up by exes because don't forget guys all this full moon energy and shit people are still dealing with their exes here from all that eclipse energy as well but we we should be done with that for the most part but some people are still dealing with it it could be a mother i'm also getting mother energy or you're oh some scorps are, are ready to be a mother well, congratulations if you are pregnant or you're working towards that. Congratulations. But yeah, trying really hard to stand, ground, stay grounded and tap into your intuition. You're trying to be that higher road, mature person. 
this might not allow you to do that. <laughs> Whatever's coming at you might not allow you to do that, okay? But let's get into this energy here that you're, you're harnessing with the Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on with Gemini right now. Um, but definitely, that's maybe, maybe that's why I picked up on Gemini. Your third house is being affected a little bit here. Um, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Which I think is why you're attracting a lot of attention. You know? I think that is why you're attracting a lot of attention. Your third house is... is there's a lot of energy going on there right now. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why, but for some reason there is. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. The Scorpio. Regarding love, February 25th to March 3rd. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Not your business. Ooh. Someone's dialogue. Not your business. Wow. Didn't that sound cutting the way it came out of my mouth? <sighs> Scorps, what is going on? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Regarding love, February 25th to March 3rd. Not your... Oh my God, it's got... That gave me the chills. Very hostile, not borderline threatening, honestly. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love. Let's see what we got here. First three cards out. Nine of Swords in a verse, Page of Wands in a verse with the King of Cups. Scorpio energy, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh. Ooh, this Page of Wands in a verse. There's 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 some bad shit going down here, okay? And with the Nine of Swords in a verse, um Scorpios, I do feel like this is your energy. I feel like, like I said, you've known something's coming. You've known something is, is not right in your gut. You can feel it, and you're about to find out what it is, I think. But, oh, it just feels like a fight. It just does not feel right. Whatever it is, it feels really wrong. To like, And I mean, just like, like it, you're just like, no, no. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love. February 25th to March 3rd. God, I thought the last week's readings were intense. This is intense. I feel a major altercation building here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's got their eye on you, though, in a good way. Someone does. Tell me about Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. You are attracting a lot of attention. Uh, February 25th to March 3rd. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. For Scorpio, regarding love, February 25th to March 3rd. What? That's it? All right. Wow. Very, very tiny reading here, Scorpio. <laughs> Overall energy for the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been, you've been through the ringer, Scorpio. I mean, not I don't mean with this individual. Some of you might have. But I know you guys have been through it for the last few months. And you guys are fighters. You guys don't give up. You're not quitters. And you're not quitting. You're not giving up on this person. Or this situation. You don't want to. That's what it is. You don't want to give up. You don't want to give up. And underneath that, we have justice. Again, Libra energy. So that's the right thing to me. To keep fighting. That's what that's what Spirit's saying. Keep fighting. That's what's going to work here. That's what's going to fix this. Don't, don't let this person bulldoze you. That's what they're saying. Don't let this person bulldoze you. I, I can't imagine a Scorpio letting anyone bulldoze them. But maybe because they're coming in so intensely that it's just like you're not ready for that. You're not ready for it. And so they might try. They might try. And I don't think it's a, a taking advantage of you. I just think you are dealing with someone who has very intense energy, just like you have intense energy. So just be mindful of that, okay? But definitely there's love here. Definitely there's love. I'm feeling very, like, a very intense husband energy, female or male, but it's like husbandy. And I'm sure you guys are like, well, what do you mean by that? If they're male or female, like in the traditional sense of like husband, right? In the traditional, traditional, why am I getting traditional? Oh, you could be doing the Taurus. Um, Tauruses are very traditional. But that's what it's feeling like to me. It's like man of the house, breadwinner, protector, provider, go-to, support system. You know what I mean? It's like there's that energy here that you're dealing with. And I feel like it's the person who's coming your way. Oh, 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 this is getting sexy. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on a second. 
this is for a small group of you, and I mean a small group of you. You're going to be really caught off guard and not happy about what they have to say because it's almost like they are taking on that traditional husbandy role. Again, this is very first, very small group of you. And it's almost like they're putting you in your place. But there's something sexy about it. I don't know what that's about. I'm sorry, guys. You're like, where is she going with this? Definitely for a small group of you. They're coming in aggressive like that because they're trying to establish that hierarchy with your energy because like i said you both have really strong energy i feel it both of you have very strong energy they're trying to get you to submit and get you like into a place where it's like i'm husband <laughs> not to sound too cave mandy cave manny but that's the kind of energy that this is and like okay you do with that what you want i don't know what your lives i don't know your business i'm not your mama i'm not gonna tell you what to do with that okay but that's definitely what i'm sensing for a small group of you it's kind of sexy though it's like they want their wife, but they want them in like, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of passion there. There's a lot of passion there. I am not personally, I am not someone who's like conventional in that way. Um, me personally. So I'm not telling you like, this is like amazing. And this is what you guys should, you guys need. I'm just telling you how it's going down for some of you. But anyway, not to get too sidetracked. Um, let's look into this page of wands in reverse. Okay. I'm also sensing sexual frustration. Maybe that's, oh, oh, maybe that is what that is. Maybe that's why it's like husband. <laughs> maybe that's the sexual frustration why they're coming in so rough. Tell me about the page of wands in reverse for Scorpio. For regarding love. Oh, three of wands, first card out. I love that three of wands too, that specific side of it. I love that three of wands. Tell me about the page of wands in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love. February 25th to March 3rd. Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse with Scorpio regarding love. February 25th to March 3rd. Tell me about this Page of Wands in reverse. Scorpio, I feel like this is a big fight, but I feel like it can lead to some like very passionate conversation. But just be very careful here, okay? Just step, tread lightly with this person. Ew, yeah, because look at what just came out here. Three of Swords and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. We have two threes on the board. Tell me about Page of Wands in Reverse for Scorpio regarding love, February 25th to March 3rd. But definitely this has the makings of, of a major altercation. I think this person thinks that they can win by force, which... <sighs> oh, the Scorpio, be careful. Oh, look at here, a mistake. <laughs> seven of Pentacles. That position of the Seven of Pentacles is being very disappointed by efforts that have been, um, con you know, put in place so far. Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse. Come on. Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, February 25th to March 3rd. Tell me about Page of Wands in reverse. Tell me about Page of Wands in reverse. And you know, maybe it could be this full moon energy because like I said, it's going to be with us for a while and it's a very strong full moon, okay? Making some people nuts. Overall energy for the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Star card, Aquarian energy. I love this side of the Star card, okay? This is the typical side, right? Which granted healing, all that good stuff. This is like on steroids. You got an entity there. You got a meteor shower going on. This is quick, quick destiny, okay? And fate kind of coming into play here. But definitely about a wish granted, really coming to fruition really fast. I think someone's manifesting here. Um, I'm just curious what, what's underneath that. Wow, look at what's underneath. Six of Swords and the Lovers. And the Queen of Cups. Oh my God, Cancerian energy. And again, Gemini energy. So yeah, this is definitely about trying to make a love situation kind of happen here and kind of work. But I really feel like there's also divine timing here. I don't know why I feel that way. Usually I need to see the Wheel of Fortune for me to make that claim. But that's how it feels. That's how it feels. So let's look at the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Three of Wands. The Three of Swords. The Hangman, Piscean energy. Seven of Pentacles, making some mistakes along the path. 
Then we have this Page of Wands. I love that this Page of Wands came out in this position. See that Phoenix rising? This is a message of change attached to some bad news here. I really feel like the person who's coming your way, again, it's very challenging energy. So Scorps, you're not going to like this, but I feel blame game here. I feel like they're going to put a little blame on you for something. I think that they've been waiting for you. And the fact that nothing's kind of been happening, they're kind of pissed. Okay. And they're very upset about it. And this could go, this could go either way. Remember, it could always be vice versa. Um, but someone's agitated that they've been waiting for too long, way too long. And I'm always attracted to the yin yang here with the fire and the water, very twin flame esque. And the lovers for me is also twin flame energy. Doesn't have to apply to twins. I'm just, I just pointed out when I see it in the reading, but you know, I am a divine feminine. So they just flock to me. <laughs> just is what it is. But definitely someone's pissed that they've been waiting. They haven't even been waiting that long though. That's the thing that kills me. This person hasn't been waiting that long. This is waiting too long. Pretty desolate, right? There's still vegetation there. This person, this person's very nourished. They got their fancy wand. They got their ball of orbs in their hand. Like they're kind of chilling, but they're upset that they've been waiting, that they've been left waiting. Okay. Very not happy about it. Oh, I see here. I see. Scorps, you're the one who's been waiting. This person's looking at the pain they caused. Okay. They see that they've made you wait. They see that they made you wait and that you're not happy about it either. Um, and I think that waiting is alluding to the thing that like you, you couldn't really grasp, like couldn't really understand, couldn't really see the reasoning through, which has been making you nuts. And they're going to say, I've been, I've been stuck. I've been stagnant. I've been, I've been hung up. I've been gaining some, you know, some enlightenment about my behavior in the past, all the seeds I planted that really didn't come into fruition the way I thought it would because I made some mistakes. That's what this person is saying. I, I wasn't doing the things I was supposed to be doing. But with this page of wands, they're basically coming to you very passionately with change behind them. Okay? They've woken up. They know what they did wrong. And they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you. With the phoenix rising from the ashes. They're going to tell you about that. Okay? Now, whether you accept this person's you know, what they have to say, <laughs> that's totally up to you, Scorpio. That's totally up to you. I think you want to fight for this. But like I said, I do feel like a very combative energy between the two of you. Please be very careful of that. Tread lightly. Watch what you say. Because if you really love this person and you really want to make it work, you can make it work. But you're not going to like what they have to say or how they're coming at you. But it's almost like it seems like they feel like they have to challenge you to get you to listen to them and to kind of get you in the proper, like, I, I don't know what that is about the hierarchy. It's like, I keep sensing that. You must be dealing with someone very traditional, okay? Um, or someone who's very controlling, one or the other. Oh, God. A Scorpio with someone who's controlling? I don't know how going to work. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I am curious about this Nine of Swords in reverse, though. I'm very curious about this. To me, this is just the anxiety and concern and worry over it. Um, but let's take a little peek, right? Why not? I'll use the Legacy deck for this, actually. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, February 25th to March 3rd. I think it's just, you know, being worried that this is not going to go well. But like I said, tread lightly. You just got to be strategic here. Tread lightly. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse. This could either end in amazing wish come true, divinely guided wish come true at that with that entity there or it could end into a major fight major fight tell me about the nine of swords in reverse watch your egos guys you and the cross watcher watch your egos tell me about nine of swords in reverse for scorpio regarding love february 25th to march 3rd and if you don't want someone like that then you don't want someone like that and you're gonna find out in this conversation okay tell me about the nine of swords in reverse for scorpio Regarding love. Let's see what we got here. I'm not done with the cards, but. Ooh. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Doesn't that just hurt to look at that? Death in reverse, Scorpio energy. Ten of swords and then the tower. Oh. Oh, Scorpio. Oh, what did I say? Oh, what did I say about the combative energy? I feel it there. I feel it. And I feel like it's... um. Scorpio, I know you've been worried about this person or, you know, about the situation. 
because it's been on your mind a lot. But hold on a second. What do we got here? Whoa. Ace of Wands, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Could also be Aries Leo. And then we have the Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, more of that Gem energy. Wow. Knight of Swords has made an appearance. Gem more Gemini energy. Holy shit. <laughs> well, Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This is a fight. This is aggression. This is more hostile than the, than the Knight of Swords upright. Very, very hostile communication right here. But that's the weirdest thing. Taking a risk to fix this. Taking a risk to reconcile, to get a new beginning. Sorry, I know it's a little blurry. I don't know. It was like totally fine for a second. There we go. Taking a risk in this broken connection to have a reconciliation and a brand new beginning. Very passionate. Like I said, guys, what did I say? I sense the passion. I sense that phallic energy. It might be a fight turned into like angry sex or something like that for some of you. But watch out for this combativeness, okay? It, it can turn real, real fucking quick. That can turn real quick. But going back to this energy here. Okay, bringing back something from the dead that is, that is kind of painful. I feel like there's some bad memories being brought up here too in this conversation, which is just leading to more of the combativeness. But this tower is the actual conversation, okay? I do think that there was a breakup for some of you, like a major breakup, and now that's, you know, it's all being brought back up to the surface. Um, but yeah, that's definitely what I'm sensing off of that. Let's see if we can get any more for this Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse. There's so much heat between the two of you. It's like you're both bombs. And it's like all it takes is one little spark and it's, you both are going to blow. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse with the freaking lovers in reverse. Wow. A lot of Twin Flame energy here. Bottom of the deck being really unhappy very freaking unhappy in your environment, your home environment, your family environment. This is for both of you. Both of you are not happy right now. Scorpios, you're in a much better standing than this person. This person is carrying around a lot of freaking despair and pent up irritation. And it, I think that's why they're coming in so aggressive. Okay. That's why they're coming in so aggressive towards you. This has been something that's been bottling up inside of them and they've been very anxious about it too. But that one thing that you're like, what is it I'm not seeing? What is it I'm not being allowed to see? What is that one thing that I'm not picking up on intuitively that I should be picking up on? It's this person coming in to, to really, I, I don't even feel an apology, which is kind of shitty, but to say, look, I've made some mistakes and I've, I've, I've changed some of my ways here, but it's, it's to put you in your place at the same time. I really don't like it. I really don't like it, but you guys have that intense connection, very intense connection that needs to be fixed, that they want to fix with a reconciliation and a brand new beginning. <sighs> They're coming in on a little bit of a high horse. I'm not going to lie. Decide what you want to do with this person ahead of time before this person comes your way. If this resonates with you, then you know it's coming because you've been sensing it. You've been sensing this tower moment coming. If you've been seeing 555, five, five, get ready. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, decide what you want to do with this person before they even come in so you're not totally thrown off guard by their behavior. Some of you are just going to be so triggered that you won't be able to stand it. Okay. Any messages for Scorpio regarding this spread? Any messages for Scorpio regarding the spread? I feel like someone just asked me what signs are on the board. So we have all the elements here, but for signs, we have Aries, Capricorn. Uh, heavy, heavy Aquarius. I mean, sorry, that's funny. I said Aquarius. There is Aquarius, but we have really heavy Gemini. We have Sag. We have heavy Scorpio, of course. Um, and we have Pisces. Yeah. Any messages for Scorpio regarding this spread? Any messages for Scorpio regarding this spread? There's a lot of freaking love here, though. A lot, but... Man, this person's approach. Wow. If you're a female dealing with a male, I guess this goes for any relationship. Um, but it's definitely like one is more, way more feminine than the other one, regardless of gender. Um, 
the more masculine one is almost taking an even more masculine stance than they normally would otherwise. And I really feel like it's to make sure that you listen and put you in your place a little bit. And I don't mean put you in your place in a, in like a, like putting you in your place. No, I just feel like it's, um, to establish the dynamic, like straight out the gate. It's really interesting. It's a weird tactic. It might blow up in their face. Any messages? Um, wow. Yeah. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like it's already been here because it's like this person's coming at you so hard. So I feel like you guys have already been in separation here. Any messages for Scorpio regarding this spread? But like I said, if this goes bad, if they come at you too incorrect and you just can't take it, Scorpio, you guys will have a separation, like a major final separation. Any messages for Scorpio regarding this spread? 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 Wow. Only one other card came out and I can't... <laughs> I can't pick it up! Wow, healing family issues. I don't think this person wants to address this with you, but I don't think they're gonna have a choice because I could not pick up that card to save my life, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And like I said, Scorpio, they are coming back with a lot of change to their soul behind them, okay? They have had a lot of change. On the bottom of the deck, wow, wedding. The situation involves marriage. I don't think this person was married. I don't think this person was married. I think this is just indicating the potential you guys have as life partners. This is a really intense connection. I mean, my God, look at this. Very, <laughs> very intense connection. Very intense. Not to mention, freaking divinely having a, a wish granted in a haste, no less. Wow, look what was underneath that. The sex card. <laughs> what did I say? The passion of this connection is ridiculous. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, I think this is just about the potential you guys have, okay, um, to really come in together. And I think the healing of family issues is what separated you guys in the beginning, like the needing to heal this shit. And so I think that person, not for all of you, for some of you, they might actually say, look, I realize my behavior was wrong because it stems from my childhood issues. And I've, I've worked on that. I've changed that. I've worked on that a lot. They might come in and say that. Wow. So like I said, potential to be a life partner, but it all depends on how this conversation's handled. And Scorpio, it's got the potential to really blow up in each other's faces, okay? Because this person's coming in fast, hard, aggressive, and rough, okay? Very challenging energy. They are going to challenge you. It's intentional. They're intentionally challenging you. All right, so decide now what the, you want the dynamic to be with this person and how it's going to work. Um, so yeah, decide now before this person comes in, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to, <clears throat> excuse me, check out Patreon on the Facebook page. Um, I really appreciate your guys' support. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Have a good night. Do some strategic planning now, okay? <laughs> Do it now, all right? I'll see you guys later. Namaste.